Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we will see what are uh, external tables. So external tables are uh, very similar to your SQL uh, loader concept. That is uh, what happens is whenever um, you are uh, loading a file, data file into the table like uh, .csv, .txt or .dat. The uh, you can um, you know do any kind of operations on the the data is loaded into the table. You can do any kind of operation like uh, DML operations like uh, you know uh, like the update, insert, or you can uh, you know even delete all those stuff. All the DML operations can be done. Whereas uh, coming to the external table, this so this will act like a uh, read and uh, write. Both can be done on this uh, table on the SQL loader concept. Coming to external tables, external tables will act only as a read only, they are the read only tables. That is you cannot perform any kind of uh, update operation or delete or anything. So external tables are the read only tables which points to a file at the OS level. Okay. So whenever you want to uh, modify the data, then uh, you need to go to the file. Whenever you want to modify the data, you just need to go to the data file and there you need to do the modification whatever modifications you want then the same modification will uh, you know reflect to your table so we cannot uh, you know index the external tables physically the external tables doesn't store any data it doesn't uh, store any data so this is what is about external tables let me uh, you know again uh, say what are external tables external tables are the read only table that is uh, you cannot do any kind of dml operations on this uh, external table whenever you want to modify something on this external table you need to go directly to the data file and do the modifications there okay and also uh, the changes uh, you know uh, whatever change you do in the data file that will directly reflect to your uh, table whenever you select do the select statement and also you cannot index this table uh, index or index this external uh, table so because it doesn't uh, store any data it just points to the, the data that is there in the file but doesn't store the data physically in the table so this is what is about external table so we'll see how we can create an external table now so and uh, the advantages of this um, external table is that uh, the memory is not consumed right as we as i said it doesn't store any data that means memory itself is not consumed that is the main advantage of this um, and also um, different files can be processed without loading the data or changing the logic that is whenever uh, uh, you want to you know uh, uh, pr process some files with the same na name the file different files with the same name can be loaded without changing the actual code or the actual external table um, code or the logic you can simply keep changing the file and uh, keep working on it so that is the main advantages of it so we will see step by step how we can create uh, this external table so first uh, what we need to do is we'll just log in um, to the uh, login as a system administrator Sorry. Login as a system administrator. There, uh, first you need to create a directory. That is, uh, uh, see, usually you cannot, um, the normal user, the client, uh, cannot directly access the um, file itself. It should uh, access through an um, indirect, uh, you know, logical directly. It cannot directly uh, access the physical directory itself. So for that, we need to create a directory first. So we'll, I'm going to say create or replace uh, directory called uh, test underscore dir as um, so my my file is uh, present in the my file name is names.txt uh, this is what is the data inside my file so it's in the c colon my programs my programs okay so i'm just creating a directory here it's a directory created and i'm going to grant um, 
all the permissions on this directory to Scott directory test underscore dir to Scott. So grant succeeded. Now connect uh, as your normal user. Okay. Now here we are um, going to you know uh, create the external table. So we'll see that uh, how we should create the external table in the next uh, video as I'm running out of time now. So thank you very much for watching.